I'm Stephanie Matthews, and today, as we were wandering around one of the local neighborhoods in Paris, California, I looked down and happened to find that there is rosemary. And so, nature provides not just wild edibles and medicinals, but a lot of times in suburban areas and in housing tracts, things are planted that are drought resistant or may have some special benefits. So, this is rosemary. It's got these beautiful periwinkle blue flowers and a citrus-like aroma. The best way to find out if it is rosemary is to take it and rub it between your fingers and then smell it. It'll have a nice, strong, pungent citrus uh, pine scent. And it is actually in the mint family, which is why it's so aromatic. And the rosemary, like mint, has volatile oils. So when you're steeping or using rosemary, you don't need to steep it for very long. Uh, a simple rosemary tea can be a part of your daily diet. It will actually help your gut. And as we know, or as we probably heard, a good gut means healthy, we don't keep the weight on, and we actually, after the holidays, this is probably one of the most perfect herbs that you could find to start incorporating into your diet. So, rosemary will actually help reduce and help your body remove toxins, such as sugar and all of those yummy treats that we're eating over the holidays this past few weeks or months if you've been like us. <laughs> and so um, it actually helps remove the toxins and it'll help restore your gut flora. So this is actually an antispasmatic and it helps your liver detox as well as will help restore uterine function if you've been having any issues with that. So not only is this a really good gut herb, but it's also rich in vitamins and minerals. So just like a lot of other wild edibles and medicinals, rosemary is high in vitamin A, vitamin C, potassium, magnesium, and calcium. And what I found is that there's so much calcium in this, in fact, that just one to two cups a day would give you your calcium intake for the day. Pretty amazing. We always think of things that we have to do to keep our body in perfect optimal health and adding just a simple few wild or locally grown edibles that you can find in your own neighborhood can really help bring your own nutritional content up rather than going to the store where a lot of the even organic produce that is made is lacking in a lot of the vitamins and there is some vitamin deficiency because of the way that foods are produced now um, if you go to something that is locally grown or even growing wild, you're going to find more nutrients in it than you would even in, your, in the rosemary on the seasoning aisle. So if you can find something that is growing in your local neighborhood to start incorporating into your diet, you're going to have more vitamins and minerals in it rather than the stuff that you would find in the store. So uh, to boil or to make a cup of tea, you're just gonna boil some water and you're gonna get it to a boil and then you're gonna place the rosemary into the water and boil for five to 10 minutes. Remove from the heat and let steep for another five minutes. Simply remove the branch and to make a cup of tea, you only need about a teaspoon, which is just a sprig about this big, not very much. So something like this that you would find maybe in a local neighborhood, is going to last a long time. You can tell your neighbors about it. You don't have to hoard it for yourself. There is no scarcity when it comes to something like this because it multiplies and there is such abundance of it. And that's another great thing about eating and using things that are grown in the wild is there's not the scarcity. You can really have enough and start making some fun things and sharing these recipes with your neighbors and allowing everybody to feel like there is enough. And so just a little sprig will do it. You can actually use rosemary to make rosemary potatoes. You can make rosemary chicken. You can use it in a ton of recipes. And the great thing is it's edible right in its form. You don't have to do anything special to it. You don't have to infuse it even if you don't want to. And it's an amazing herb with a ton of vitamins and minerals that you could simply add into your life today.
If you are going to gather from a source, make sure to always put it into a paper bag, not a plastic bag. Plastic bags will hold in the moisture that the plants naturally release and they will mold. So whenever you're collecting or harvesting, make sure to put things into a paper bag so that they can breathe, the moisture can get released, and then they'll dry out naturally within a paper bag without getting moldy. And so just be mindful that whenever you're gathering from any place that is not from the wild, such as a housing track or somewhere in a local park, be mindful that they might be using pesticides or herbicides or spraying on their plants. So for us, we know that these are not being sprayed because we know the owners of this house. But in a park, just make sure to be mindful of bringing whatever you're gathering home with you and giving them a good wash. It's really easy to just take a colander and to put a little bit, they have vegetable sprays that you can use. You can even use a tiny bit of dish soap and wash these and then simply rinse with water and that will get a majority of any herbicides or pesticides that might be sprayed if you're not sure if that is going on. But if you're out in the wild, the likelihood of there being anything on your plants, simply rinse them to get any dirt or animal things off of the plants and that way they are safe to consume. And once again, if you have any allergies or if you're gonna be using this for any medicinal purposes, please consult your physician before doing so. And if you have any allergies to aspirin, rosemary is something that you should not incorporate into your daily diet. And yet, you should always consult somebody that you trust before consuming or adding any medicinals into your life. But as an herb and a spice, this is a great added uh, benefit with tons of nutrients that you're not gonna find in a lot of other things. So I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit how to incorporate some wild or local flora into your life. This was all about rosemary. I'm Stephanie Matthews with Nature Craft, and I hope you have a blessed and beautiful day. See you next time. See you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe so that you can get all the benefits of watching even more learning about all the wild edibles and medicinals that might be in your neighborhood. It actually tastes really good. It's just kind of dusty. <laughs>